Hey guys, so this is Preschool at Home week six and our theme this week was marvelous music. So we were talking about music a lot this week and it's another type of topic, kind of like our weather topic that we're gonna still continue to talk about and it's gonna be incorporated into other topics like when we're gonna be talking about dancing later and that sort of thing. So I did end up going ahead and finding these bulletin board things at a teacher supply store and I really, really like these. They were called Discover Music and they had a number of brightly colored posters and there's actually about seven or eight of them. I'm only using about three of them. I have the rhythm one down there right now. I put the most basic ones up. So this week we're really just talking about an introduction to music. We were talking about counting. We're getting some musical instruments for toys here at the house and I'm just introducing these cymbals, really focusing on treble clef, not really going into bass clef quite yet and then just what notes look like. Just a really, really basic introduction, focusing mainly on what things look like and a very abstract, you know, concept of, you know, these are notes on a staff and this is how people know how to play music. So I'm not really getting into the actual instruction of like, you know, this is middle C and if you're playing on a piano, this is where your hands go and all that. We're not, we're not getting into it that much. It's just a very basic introduction this week. But I thought that these posters were great because they were brightly colored and just had some very, very basic ideas. And then there was actually some more advanced posters that were included with it as well. So I thought that they would be great to grow with. And I did go ahead and make our own header this week. So marvelous music. Our letter of the week is M. And we're also talking about other M words besides music this week. Monkey and mouse are two of our favorites. Monkey, of course, is a very good word around our house. And today, the day that I'm making this video is towards the end of the week. It's Thursday, February 7th. We went ahead and left our little frozen frog guy up there because that's what our weather pretty much looks like here right now and our calendar set to February and then this is the last poster that I have up that is about rhythm and I like this one visually because it just had the pictures of the different notes and we're not going to be talking about rests or anything like that um, so it is a very very basic introduction to music just really having fun with it singing songs and that's kind of the tact that I've been taking this week is just a basic introduction to music Doing some coloring? Good job. So today we are gonna have Bella do her music book. And you could do this probably honestly about with any subject. I just thought we would try it with it's. music first. So we're gonna make a little cover it's. out of this white sheet of paper. And she's got some sticky letters here. We have these different pages printed out from twistynoodle.com that I am gonna let her color and write on. And I went ahead and punched them at the top with a uh, three hole. We're gonna use this pipe cleaner to put it together like a book. And then in the very back, she's got this staff and I cut out different notes and things like that <laughs> very crudely. So like the clef isn't the size and that sort of thing, but I did my best. So I'm gonna let her um, use this glue to put these there and she'll have her own little music staff that she made on her own. Yeah. You want? You want red on? All right. I'm going to put glue on the S. What letter do we need next? So music starts with? M. M? M. What letter comes next? And music. There. You help mommy put the glue on the back of these? We're going to put the U next because it's going to be M, U, S, I, C. Good job. All over the back of the paper. Keep it on the blue part. So we're going to put glue all over the back of this and then we're going to make our cover. Like so this, this is a little bit different than the liquid glue. This is a glue stick. You got to get it all around. So can you get it all the different parts? And it helps if you hold the paper still with your other hand there. There you go. Now try doing it all around on the back. Good job. And then these notes have glue on the back of them, and then you're just going to try to stick them on a line somewhere. Can you try to do that? Yeah. So we're going to put these... Good job! Alright, let's get another one. Alright, here's another one. You can put this note wherever you want it. You can stick it in the spaces in between the lines, on the lines. And there. Very nice! There's another one. Good job. And we just want the stem of the note pointing up this way. And I'm going to give you one more. We're going to have four notes on there. So then the notes are going to be like one, two, three, 
four. Last note, can you put one more note on there? Will one more note fit on the end there? Stick. Stick, you want this one to be really high. There we go. Yay! And this is Isabella's song. Yay! Good job. And then if like the child was older and they were actually learning the letters, an idea that I had like after you had them stick them on the notes, Yay. if they were just sticking them on randomly, Yay. you could have them then like write the letter of what you know, alphabet note it was, so it'd be like, well, we're going to call this E-G-E, -E, so it's, you know, right, not right in the center of the line, but that's where she kind of put them, so I was thinking, like, as she gets older and we start talking about it more, I could have her do, like, put the little letters on the notes, and then that would help her learn what notes they are. I'm not doing anything with time signatures right now, but obviously all we're doing right now is basically talking about four or four time. So this is Isabella's song. All right, and then to finish off our book, we just have our little cover that we made, and then Isabella's song, and then I'll let her color some pages to put in here as well, and then our different sheets that we printed off from Twisty Noodle, and then this is going to be our music book. So I just used a hole punch to put holes in the top, and we'll tie them together with uh, the pipe cleaner, and it'll be done. Good coloring. Good job. <laughs> Mommy's going to look at your music book. I think it turned out really good. So we just have our cover sheet and then her little music sheet she made. And then we have MS for Music, clef, note, quarter note, piano, guitar, and saxophone. And then just some extra notes back there. So this is a cute little idea. I may do this for other subjects too. I liked how it turned out. I like the idea of us making our own books as well. Orange. Good job. Blackfish, bluefish, oldfish, oldfish, newfish. My favorite story. Is that your favorite story right now? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish is your favorite story? Okay. This is the high five that we got for the first month, and all the animals are playing music on the front of it. Yay! We have the zebras playing the horn and the monkeys playing the tambourine. The hippo is playing a guitar, like the guitar that you liked the other day. And the gazelle has maracas. Shake, 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 like your maracas that you like. They're all playing music. And it's got some cute little ideas for different uh, instruments that you can make at home as well. This was the January issue. And you can apparently make uh, different instruments, drums and things like that, out of cardboard boxes like tissue boxes or something like that and like cardboard tubes so ballerina beauties cinderella loves classical ballet you see how she has music notes behind her and did you see that they all have musical instruments on their pages too snow white has a violin and Belle has a clarinet and sleeping beauty just has notes on hers and Cinderella has a harp on hers and makes very pretty music. Aurora whirls and twirls as if in a dream. Cinderella shines as the star of the performance. A princess loves to dream about dancing. She's floating on air. And it's for music. M is for music. And note, and this is a treble clef. And that's how you read the music. Symbols like this help you know what note to play. This is our little drum worksheet that we're going to do. Yeah. You want to try to find the M's on there? Yeah. All right. This says, draw a line to match each uppercase letter to its lowercase letter. There's the big N. Can you find the little N? Where's the little N? The R and O. An R, draw it to this side, so there's the big N. An O, an N, an M. To the there's N. Where's the little O over here? Right there. Where's the big O over here? M. M, that's M. 
You want to draw a line? N. Yes, that's N. So we're going to draw a line from big M to little M. <gasps> little M. Little M's right here. You passed it up. Got to have a line going from one. What about P? P. Can you draw a line from the big P to the little P? That's coloring the P. All right, and this week we're talking about music. Let me try to draw little notes. And how you read music is there's something called a staff. Mommy can't draw in straight lines and hold something else. Ready? Just gonna do a circle and then a stem. And a circle and a stem. Stem. Yeah, instrument. Can we think of some instruments? What's an instrument that we know? We know piano. What else do we know? We know trumpet. That's what we call horn sometimes. Trumpet. What else words do you want to see? Drums. Do we want to make a mouse out of our M? For M week? It makes squeak, squeak, make noise. It makes squeak, squeak noise. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna make an M that makes squeak, squeak noise. So we have to glue the M down on the paper first, and then we're gonna put little ears and eyes and whiskers on it and make it into a mouse. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Use both hands if you need to. Oh, oh. It's all right, there you go. Use both hands to squeeze it if you need to. You want some help squeezing? You gotta squeeze. Do we want to glue it down then? Yeah. Yep, pat it down. Good job. Get all the edges. We want it to be really flat so we can make it into a mouth here. Now we're going to glue his ears, or her ears, and glue the mouse's ears up here to make a little ear. <laughs> Very cute mouse ears. These are the mouse whiskers, and I already went ahead and put three of them together and then twisted the end together. What I'm actually going to do is take the nose and just tape them to the back of the nose, so that way she really only has like one thing that she has to glue down. I think that would be easier. So I'm going to go ahead and tape these to the back of the nose. Hopefully that'll work and then that way the mouse will have his whiskers. All right, now this is the mouse's nose and the whiskers. Can you set it right there where that dab of glue is? Can you pat it down right there and push it in? All right, now let's get the mouse some eyes, okay? What do you think? Do you want the mouse to have big eyes or do you want the mouse to have little eyes? What kind of eyes do you want the mouse to have? Oh, good dog. You want the mouse to have big eyes? So the mouse is going to have big eyes then, okay? Can you press it in? There you go. Good job. We got a little bit of glue on his eye, but that's all right. And this is our M is for mouse. I think he turned out pretty cute. What do you think? What's the mouse say? Squeak, 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 squeak. squeak. <laughs> Your music shakers. Here, show mommy what they're made of. These are real easy. We just made these in the kitchen real quick. They're just two clear cups taped to each other with pasta in the middle. And it's just like supplies we already had on hand. Shake a shake a shake a shake. Can you shake them really slow? Slow shakes. Slow, good job. Now shake them really fast. Good job. Hey guys, so it is the end of week six of Preschool at Home and we've had a very fun week talking about 
music and we did a few art projects we did a lot of singing and dancing we read a few books that had to do with music and one of the most fun things that we did this week was kind of art project and book all in one so we made our own music book so that would have already been in this vlog previous but I really enjoyed making this so I think I'm going to take this concept and use it for other weeks as well and also I thought it was really neat that Bella was able to make her own little music scale by just posting the notes wherever she wanted and so she made her own little song so I thought that that was really cute we also did art projects we did M is for mouse which I thought this was another really cute animal uh, alphabet craft and then Bella also made shakers to have music here at the house. So we're going to continue talking about music. It's something that will be talked about in other weeks regardless of the theme. And also it will tie in with other themes that we have coming up like a ballet and dance week and that sort of thing. We'll be talking about music of course those weeks. So we just had a lot of fun with it this week. We just talked about some basic introductory concepts. Counting to four, clapping to four. And so hopefully we're really really busy the month of February but I'm hoping maybe by March I can do like introductory like ideas for creative movement around the house for your little one if you're getting ready to enroll them in dance and that sort of thing just some ideas that you could work on at home or if they're already in dance class some fun things that you could do with them as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed this music week vlog we had a ton of fun this week and we're really looking forward to next week I will get the vlog for that lesson plan posted up as soon as possible but not to spoil it too much but we're obviously going to be doing doing a Valentine's Day themed week because Valentine's Day is next week. So we will be lots of hearts and pink and girly stuff next week. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.